Today, the uh, Nova Karhovka dam was severely damaged, leading to significant reduction in the level of the reservoir used to supply cooling water to the ZNPP. The cooling water is required for the essential cooling uh, systems which provide cooling to the follow, among other to the following. Residual heat removal from the reactors, spent or partially spent fuel there. Residual heat removal from the spent fuel ponds. Cooling of the emergency diesel generators when they are running. Absence of cooling water in the essential water systems for an extended period of time would cause fuel melt and inoperability of the emergency diesel generators. However, our current assessment is that there is no immediate risk to the safety of the plant. We are following this by the minute, as you can imagine. The IEA staff on the site have been informed that the damage to the Nova Karkovka dam is currently leading to about five centimeters per hour reduction in the height of the reservoir. The team continues to monitor this rate and all other matters on the site. The main line of cooling water is fed from the reservoir and pumped up through channels near the thermal power plant to the site. It is estimated that the water through this route should last for a few days. The rate may reduce as the water lowers. Water in the reservoir currently at around, it's at around 16.5 meters. This is a measurement from last night. If it dropped below 2.7, then can no longer be pumped. ISAMS reported that ZNPP is making all efforts to pump as much water into its cooling channels and related systems as possible. In addition, consume of water is being stopped at ZNPP to reduce, of course, the consumption and then uh, the availability of water for this other essential purpose. ZNPP management is discussing further measures to be implemented and the Eisen team is uh, in, in active interaction with them. There are a number of alternative sources of water. A main one is the large cooling pond next to the site that by design is kept above the height of the reservoir. As the reactors have been shut down for many months, it is estimated that this pond will be sufficient to provide water for cooling for some months. The agency will confirm this very shortly. It is therefore vital that this cooling, pond, this cooling pond remains intact. Nothing must be done to potentially undermine its integrity. I call on all sides to ensure nothing is done to undermine that. The consequences may be grave. My trip to ZNPP next week was planned. Now it's essential. I will go. I will keep the board informed as developments unfold. Thank you very much.